Good evening and welcome to News 9. I'm Nolan Pinto. Now it's a complete demolition in Bellari Rural. A candidate who was considered as an outsider barged into Shiramulu's fortress and established his party's flag there. Take a look as Congress takes over the Republic of Bellari and celebrates its massive victory over there. Hundreds of people on the streets of Bellari dancing to the tune of drum beats and bursting crackers. Their celebrations seem to have no end. And the reason? Hand approves the lotus in Bellari. Yes, N.Y. Gopalakrishna, considered by many Congress insiders as an outsider, managed to trounce BJP's Obelesh and establish the Congress flag over the Republic of Bellari. Gopalakrishna won by a whopping margin of 33,104 votes from Bellari rural constituency, surprising a lot of political pundits. But Gopal Krishna didn't seem to be surprised at all after clinching an impressive victory. Waiting to Gopal Krishna, this is a victory of the entire the Congress leaders of the district, along with the support of all the youth Congress leaders and all the frontal organizations, and even the voters with the voters with the support of the voters with all these blessings only we got elected. We practically we experienced about the problems pertaining to the water drinking water and even the roads also. So plenty of works to be taken up from this government. With the support of the present government, definitely we are going to do something. Meanwhile, Congress members were seen immersed in celebrations, not just in Bellari, but also in Namma City. Several Congress members gathered at the KPCC office on Queen's Road to congratulate each other and celebrate in unison. KPCC President G. Parmeshwar and Minister D. Keshav Kumar, who was in charge of Bellari Rural Constituency election matters, expressed their happiness over winning the battle. The result was a kind of a foregone conclusion. Um, you know, we have won both of them. But, uh, you know, Shikaripur also we were aiming at. Uh, somewhere, you know, within uh, ourselves we were planning, uh, you know, to, to win that uh, seat. But anyway, we have improved our position. There is some kind of a confidence instilled in among the people, among the voters. So that is what has uh, really changed. Meanwhile, the district in charge minister, P.T. Parmeshwar Nayak, credited the victory to Siddharamaya. Ramarajada, Janapriya, Badawara, Mukhamudra, Takata Sanmana, Siddharamaya, Saibru, Hakir Takanta, Badawara, Janapriya, Karakramagalo, even to Abiridhi Goskara, even to Balariya. Gramina Baga the Matadaru, Aburi Goskara, Badlavana Baisi, you to Congress Pakshaka, the Mashrava, the Madidare, Namajob, Dari and Hitchesidare, Kanditwaglu, Ido Matra Vadanta Jaya. Well, this was the face of victory, but amidst this, there was one person who was totally broken. Bellari's MP, Sri Ramalu. Bellari Gramantra Shetra Jandru Balasu Budivantru. भारतीय जनता पार्टी के श्रीराम लोरिया हलवार वर्षों उनका कई रुकों ने बंदी तरा ये लोग उनके कड़े ये सोलनों संपूर्ण वाकी जवाबदार इन्हें नाने वाइस से नहीं अकंद्रे नम भारतीय जनता पार्टी अब बैठे तो वो ब्लेश औरों बस सामने वधन तक कार्यकर्ता ये दूर ये लोग कार्यकर्ता आपेक्षितो यारों वंद करे सरकार बंद कुंती दे हाना द पल्ला मत तो अधिकार बरा दिन दा ये तो और कांग्रेस पक्ष दा भर्ती के दी दर श्रीरामलू स्पोक अबाउट द ह्यूमिलिएटिंग डिफीट एंड सेड दैट ही एक्सेप्टेड फुल रेस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी फॉर द लॉस बल श्रीरामलू रूल द रूस्ट इन बेलारी रूरल कॉन्स्टिट्यूएंसीज � worked for BJP and the move backfired with Congress snatching their seat away. Now in all likelihood, Gopal Krishna will get a cabinet berth during the ministry reshuffle that is expected within a few days. Surely it's a chedin for Gopal Krishna. A News Now report. Well, dynasty politics is often considered to be the bane of Indian democracy. But today, as both the BJP and Congress tasted victory in Karnataka, it is perhaps time to reflect on how political leaders still vouch for dynastic politics. 
On Monday, both the BJP and Congress claimed victory. Both had ensured that their traditional bastions remained intact. Shikaripura and Chikkodi Sadalga. Shikaripura had returned the former CM, BS Yadurapa, last year, but this year there was a change in the script. Back after his self imposed political vanvas from the BJP, BSY chose to contest the parliamentary polls this May. He won and became the MP representing the Shimoga Lok Sabha seat. The Saffron Party then nominated his son, BY Raghavendra, as its candidate from Shikaripura. It was also the same case in Chikkodi Sadalga, which had returned Prakash Hukkeri as its MLA. This May, Hukkeri Sr. went on to Parliament, leaving the field open to his son Ganesh, who has had two stints in the Zilla Panchayat. Even Hukkeri senior looked extremely happy. On Monday, while Ganesh Hukeri had a comfortable win defeating MLC, Mahantesh Kavatagi Mutt by 31,820 votes, the case was vastly different in Shikaripura. In fact, the margin of victory registered by Raghavendra is one of the lowest and only about a seventh of what his father, who had defeated S. Bangarapa in 2008 by a margin of 45,000 votes. Even the former chief minister was disappointed with the results and believes that if the Saffron party builds its membership base, things would only improve in future. The BJP clearly was not able to make its presence felt, this time in a more profound manner. Shrikan Kubbakudi with Sukesh for News 9. Well, it's a day of celebration for the Congress. After all, the bipolar results have come as a pleasant surprise to the party. But even on the day of celebrations, it looks like power wars are far from over. Now it is Balki MLA, Ishwar Kandre, who wants the ministerial post. The MLA met the chief minister today at his residence to hold discussions on the same issue. He came with a massive show of strength. Six buses filled with his supporters protested outside the CM's residence, demanding a ministerial post for their leader, Ishwar Khandre. Now, Chief Minister Sidramaya felicitated Commonwealth heroes at his Krishna residence. Strikers, S.P. Sunil, Timaya, now drag flicker VR Raghunath, and coach Jude Felix. The quartet from Karnataka, the Paralympian Niranjan, were each awarded 15 lakh rupees. Now, three medal winners, Vikas Gaudar, Kian Prakash, and Ashwini Purnapa, were absent for the ceremony. But what baffled all was that though the event was held at the CM's residence and though it was a pre-planned event, Chief Minister Sidramaya took officials to task, questioning them over the timing of the event. Sidramaya said that the event should not have been conducted when the state was observing three days of mourning due to URA's death. <laughs> Instead of today, we should have this tomorrow. But still morning is there. Let us not now. Pastagishna Yanila. 
रेगुलर प्रोग्राम अलाइड Back now, it's three days since renowned writer you are Anantamurthy left for a better world. Today, the Nyana Peet Award winner's ashes were immersed by his son in the Sangama. Take a look. A writer, an activist, and a critic, the late U R Anantamurthy's ashes were immersed in the Sangam, where the Kabini, Kaveri, and Hemavati rivers meet in Sri Rangapatna. The ritual took place at 12 noon with U R Anantamurthy's son Sharad taking the responsibility to immerse his father's ashes. The rituals took place in accordance with the Madhava community, and all customs were followed. Anantamurthy or a Asyanna, puja pranaskar madi, kavir sangmadali, bandhu bandhur seeri visajja madi. The late writer was laid to rest with full state honors on Saturday, August 23rd at 4:15 in the evening. But there were a few sadists who celebrated his death when the news first broke. And now the Congress has condemned these protests that took place against URA and has also stated that strict action will be taken against those involved in this incident. ಅಡಿಯಲ್ಲಿ ಬಂಧನ ಮಾಡಿ ಕರ್ನಾಟಕ ರಾಜ್ಯ ಗಡಿಯ ಹೊರಗಡೆ ಹಾಕಬೇಕು ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿದ್ರೆ ನಾವು ಇವಾಗ ಒತ್ತಾಯ ಮಾಡ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದೇವೆ While a few were rejoicing the death of the writer those who knew you are a personally are still trying to deal with the tragic loss a news 9 report